With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, in the given question we have been asked, a mixture of ferric hydroxide and aluminium is used as solid rocket fuel which reacts to give air to a 3 and iron. We have been also provided that on complete reaction of one mole of Fe2O3, 200 units of energy is released. We have to write the balanced chemical equation. What should be the ratio of masses Fe2O3 and Al taken so that maximum energy per unit of fuel is released? And third, we have to answer what would be the energy release if 16 kg of Fe2O3 reacts with 2.7 kg of aluminium. So the reaction is very simple. Fe2O3 is getting reduced by Al such that Al get oxidized to Al2O3 and iron oxide get reduced to iron. Okay, this is ferric oxide which reduced to iron plus we get energy. Okay, so as we can see this is our answer for part A where we have to write the balance reaction. So we multiply here by 2 and here by 2 such that our reaction is balanced. Now the second part we have to answer what will be the ratio of masses of both of them for maximum energy release. So the maximum energy release will be when both of them get equally completely consumed. Okay, and they can get completely consumed when their molar ratio is when their molar ratio is 1 is to 2 energy will be maximum now we have to write the mass ratio so we know that one mole of iron oxide weights 160 gram and two moles of aluminium will weight 2 into 27 that is 54 gram so we can write the mass ratio will be mass ratio will be 160 is to 54 that is 80 is to 27 80 is to 27 for maximum energy. Okay, this is for maximum energy release. The ratio of mass of Fe to aluminium. Okay, Fe2O3, sorry, mass of Fe2O3 to aluminium for maximum energy. Now, for the third part, we have been provided that. The 16 kg of Fe2O3 reacts with 2.7 kg of aluminium. Okay. So 16 kg of Fe2O3, that means 16 upon 160, 100 moles of Fe2O3. Okay. And 2.7 kg of aluminium means 100 moles of aluminium. So as we can see here Fe2O3 is in excess. Okay, Fe2O3 is in excess. So this will be your limiting reagent. Limiting reagent is the one which is present in less amount. It is one of the reactant which is present in less amount and it decides the product. It will decides the product amount. Okay, and decides the end point of the reaction end point of reaction so we have 100 moles of aluminium okay and we need to find the energy release so as we can see when two moles of aluminium react the energy release is 200 units okay two moles of aluminium 2 moles of aluminium give us 200 units of energy. Okay. Now we have 100 moles of aluminium. So 100 moles of aluminium will give us 200 upon 2 into 100 units of energy. So this will come out to be 10,000 units. So our third part answer is 10,000 units. Okay. So these are our answer for the given question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.